We're on the record, Your Honor. All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Chuck McLean. I'm a Chief Public Utility Law Judge at the Maryland Public Service Commission. It is, what's, what's today, April 17th? Is that right? Yes. April 17th, approximately uh, 9 o'clock in the morning. Um, and we're conducting a virtual uh, evidentiary hearing uh, in case number 9634, which is in the matter of the application of Eastern Utilities Commission for authority to increase its electric and gas rates pursuant to the make whole provisions of section 4207 uh, for adjustments to its retail rates for the distribution of electric energy. All right, uh, we can start with appearances. We'll start with the company. Good morning, Your Honor, Marta Harding representing Easton Utilities. Good morning, ma'am. Gary L. Alexander representing the Maryland Office of People's Council. Good morning, Your Honor. Good morning, sir. Good morning, uh, Your Honor. Peter Wilson on behalf of the staff of the Public Service Commission. All right. Good morning, everyone. I appreciate everyone getting up on a Friday morning to do this virtual hearing. So, um, and uh, I understand uh, since there's a settlement and we don't have any witnesses today, we'll just be uh, entering evidence into the record. If that's my correct on that, I hope. Correct, yes. Your Honor. Yes, Your right. Honor. Uh, Ms. Hardy, do you want to kick things off? Uh, certainly. So we, um, I filed on um, um, February the 10th two uh, pieces of testimony, pre-filed direct testimony of Hugh E. Grunden on behalf of Easton Utilities Commission. He's the CEO of Easton uh, Utilities and the pre-filed direct te testimony of Stephen J. Ochi, um, the CFO of Easton Utilities. Um, uh, that was our initial filing. And then we filed on the 7th of, of April, uh, the direct, uh, testimony of Stephen J. Ochi in support of the joint motion, um, and settlement agreement. And I okay. would offer those three pieces of direct testimony into the record. Okay. And we'll mark those for identification as, um, Easton exhibits one through three, just as Ms. Harding uh, explained them. Uh, any, uh, objections? No, no objection. All right, they are admitted. Um, Ma'am, did you also want to offer the settlement as well, or? Sir, uh, certainly. I okay. so we filed it as a um, of the joint the joint motion. So you're offering. Okay. I would offer that, and all the attachments. Your Honor, um, could could she speak up just a little bit more? Because she's further away from her her phone than than you use your phone, right? I am. Is that okay. any better? Much better because everybody else is using their computer. It's a little bit louder. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay. Um, I just want to get you on the record. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, so, yes, I will offer as I guess, would this be another company? This would be company four, Easton four. Yes, um, the joint motion um, filed on the, ten, uh, the uh, excuse me, the 7th of April in support of the settlement agreement, together all right, with all the attachments, be, including Yes, ma'am, that'll be marked um, and, and, and admitted as uh, Easton Four. Uh, Mr. Alexander. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, I'd like to have the pre-filed direct testimony of David E. Peterson on behalf of the Maryland Office of People's Council, which was filed on March 17, 2020, and includes narrative testimony, a CV, uh, work papers and exhibits. I would like to have that marked as OPC Exhibit 1. It will be so marked. And I would also like to have um, Marked is it OPC Exhibit 2, the testimony of David E. Peterson in support of the proposed settlement agreement on behalf of the Maryland Office of People's Council, which was pre-filed on April 7, 2020. And so okay. um, I would like to have entered into the record OPC Exhibit 1, and OPC Exhibit 2. Okay, and we'll mark uh, Mr. Peterson's settlement testimony as OPC Exhibit 2 for the uh, for identification. Any objections? No objections. No Three objections. None. They are admitted. Thank you, Mr. Alexander. Mr. Wilson. Yes, Your Honor. Uh, the staff would uh, ask that uh, its direct testimony of staff witnesses uh, be uh, marked. Uh, that would be... Uh, 
uh, staff number one, the testimony with exhibits of Anna Joy Thompson. Uh, staff number two, the uh, testimony and the exhibits of Margaret Tuberty. And staff number three, the uh, direct testimony and exhibits of staff witness Lucy Shea. They were all filed on, uh, pre filed on March 17th uh, as mail log number 229182 and can be found uh, docketed as number 10 on the electronic docket. All right, thank you, we, Mr. Wilson. They'll we be, would also, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead, sorry. Go ahead. We also uh, would ask that we mark uh, uh, for identification uh, testimony uh, in support of the settlement agreement of staff witness Lucy Shea filed on April 7th as mail log 229618, and that is docket number 12. Uh, and uh, our item number 12 on, on the electronic docket. And we'd move all four of those uh, exhibits into uh, evidence. All right, they'll be marked as uh, staff exhibits one through four for identification. Uh, any objections? No, Your Honor. No objections. All right. Okay, they are admitted. Um, did we miss anything? I, think we got I don't believe so. I'd like okay. to get something, Your Honor. Yes, sir. I need the spelling from Peter for uh, Margaret Tuberty and uh, Shea. How do you spell um, Tuberty? T U B R I D Y. Great. And Shea, what's that? S H E A? S H E A, like the stadium, former stadium. Sounds good. And thank you very much for uh, the interruption. No, no, no problem. problem, sir. So I think the only thing, uh, obviously, other than the proposed order in this case, would be the public hearing. And I know we talked a little bit about this in email and just so everybody's at least so uh, an effort to get everyone on the same page. I know I missed uh, Harding. You'd indicated it would be your preference to wait. Hopefully we can get this, um, you know, the stay at home orders uh, lifted and maybe we can actually do this um, uh, in person. Is that correct, ma'am? Yes, Your Honor. We, we, we understand, um, you know, that, that's going to mean a delay, obviously, in the proposed order. But. Um, but we think just from the perspective of making um, this is as open as possible for the public that a, a, an in-person hearing would be preferable just because of the state of broadband in the in the service area. Yes, ma'am. And, and, I, and I agree. I would I, if, if at all possible, I'd like to have a in-person hearing and given the, the, the September 1st effective date of the rates, I, I'm hopeful that, you know, we've got a few months to play with. Hopefully we can get, we can squeeze it in. So it's yes. staff or OPC uh, okay with that, or you have any objections or concerns? No objection, yeah. Your Honor. No objection, Your Honor. I think a drive to Easton is looking pretty good right now. <laughs> <laughs> Something other than the grocery store. I agree. Right. Okay. All right. Um, do we have anything else before we sign off here? Nothing That's for me. I'm, just, I'm amazed that I didn't get cut off. So I'm, I'm all right. Well, okay. I'm glad we could get you, get you in, in the call. And I appreciate everyone's um, uh, cooperation, getting the settlement done. And I uh, hope everyone's uh, weekend is more enjoyable than your week. Okay. Thank you so much. You too. Right, thank you. Care, you, you too. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye all. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Doug. Thank you.